So just like I promised, we're going to build uh, Android Nugget, AOKP, for something that wasn't on the list. Now, when we looked at the list, they had the KL. PE, the Samsung Galaxy S5 generic, but we want to build specifically for the Verizon version, which is something that I did in the past. Uh, here we look at the list. We don't see the V version, the Verizon. We have a KLTE DV, but not the VZW variant, which stands for Verizon. So if it's not on the list, obviously we, we did this in Marshmallow where we added something else to the list and we started building it. But I actually wanna build this one in particular because we're going to see some errors, I'm sure, while we're building it. And I think that's gonna be uh, useful for us. So just like in Marshmallow, we're gonna go through this and we're gonna add uh, another phone to the list. So if we open up our web browser, and we've got the Android Open Kang project and we type in KLTE, we see that they have the DV, the USB, the SPR, all these variants, but not the variant we're looking for. But if we type that in over on Lineage OS, we type in the VZW, we're gonna see that, oh, they have a variant of the Verizon variant. So what I wanna do is I wanna take information from one ROM and I want to put it into a different ROM. So we're going to take from Lineage OS and we're going to put it into AOKP. So we're actually going to be changing the files. Now last time we downloaded some files that were pre-changed and I do have these files pre-changed on, on my repository. But I want to work on actually changing the files that um, are available from a different ROM, because that's probably a scenario you're gonna run into. So if we go into our um, hidden repo folder and we make a local underscore manifest, this folder now is where we can put our very own uh, manifest at. Now, of course, you can jump onto uh, my, my website here or rather my GitHub repositories here and grab a copy of a local man manifest that roomservice.xml. Um, if you need one to look at, you can just look at the one on this video and just type it out. You can Google them, there's hundreds of them everywhere. Um, but it's just really handy to go ahead and download something like this and then we'll just change it for what we need. That way we have the syntax correctly oriented and right for what we wanna do. So just take a second while that downloads. All right, so if we go to our download folder, here we see our zip that we just downloaded. We're just gonna extract it here. Uh, we open that up. and we can just rename it local manifest and we can paste it into our repo folder. So here we have our um, room service.xml. Let's open it with get it. Uh, this was actually for some work that uh, I did with the uh, Suicide Squirrels working on the LG C4 bring up for Oreo. Um, so that's why all this, these projects are here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it and edit it to be ready for uh, building the KLTE VZW, the Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S5. So once again, you have to look at your manifest, uh, your default manifest, and make sure the remote of GitHub is in there. And if it's not, then you need to add it. And it should look like this. And here we see name GitHub fetch that. So that allows us to choose the remote of GitHub and um, and download different projects or repositories from GitHub. So if we if we search GitHub, 
you'll see several other uh, projects that are being used that are from GitHub. And you see the style here, the project path uh, that it has, and then the name of that of that path. So it just gives you a general idea of what it's supposed to look like as you as you go through. Again, we we went over this in Marshmallow a little bit, but I really want to dive into it uh, today. So what are we going to need? Well, let's go over to Lineage where we just opened that device, Samsung KLTE VZW. So a really easy thing to do is just copy and paste the URL itself. And that's going to give us something to work with here. So if we change this first part, the name, that's where it's going to get it from, to Lineage OS, Android device, Samsung, KLTE, VZW. Path, that's where we're going to put it. So we know that, you know, Android is for the variant, uh, or excuse me, the Android build folder, device underscore Samsung underscore KLTE, VZW. Just change those underscores to be forward slashes, and you'll usually be in the right place. Of course, that's going to come from remote of GitHub. We're building for Nugget, so we want revision, which is the branch version of CM-14.1. So we save that, and we are ready to repo sync it. Of course, if we repo sync it, it's going to go and it's going to download that, um, that information. Now, notice there's not even a Samsung folder uh, in, in here. So if we repo sync, and we're going to force sync, so we're going to force it overwrite because that was their their instructions on their on their website. You don't really need to use force sync unless you want to make sure that you overwrite. And it's going to go through. Of course, we'd already synchronized the repository, so this should be fairly straightforward and happen fairly quickly because it technically should only have to get one project, and that's the one we just added. So just like when we did this in Marshmallow, if we try to build this, we are going to run into a problem. And that problem is we don't have all the files we need. All we have is just one of the files we need. And not to mention, unlike last time where we downloaded something that was pre-made for the ROM we're building, this is built for lineage and we want to use it on AOKP, which means that the build files are gonna be the wrong name, it means that the product version is going to be the wrong product version name, and it's not going to even be able to find what we just downloaded. So we're going to give this a second to uh, finish uh, finish fetching the project. All right, so that uh, project is done fetching now. We can open up that KLTE VZW, and here we see uh, our files displayed. Notice that we have lineage.make, we have lineage.dependencies, and these are the wrong files because we're going to need AOKP. That's what we're trying to build, right? So for sure, we know that the names of these files at least are wrong. And inside these files, some of the dependencies and some of the things that are listed in there are wrong. So if we tried to build this as it was, it wouldn't actually build because we know that there's this lineage dependencies file that says it's going to need Android device Samsung KLTE-common. And if we're going to need the KLTE-common file, or excuse me, folder, or project repository, um, we might as well just add it to our uh, room service, our, our uh, local manifest. So if we jump on to Lineage OS and we take a look for KLTE-common, we, uh, we see it there and we look and we see it in AOKP. Now, technically you should want to grab everything from the ROM that you're building. That would make the most sense because they've gone through hopefully and edited it to be best. So that way things are going to function and things are going to build properly uh, while, you're, while you're working. So we would typically just grab this uh, 
this part of the URL up here that say OKP device Samsung KLT dash common. We're going to copy that. We're going to write it into our uh, our manifest here, our local manifest. So we'll just copy it right here for a second. We'll copy and paste this line. And we're going to go ahead and uh, edit it to be what we, what we need to say. So we'll take out this whole lineage portion right here. We'll copy and paste in this AOKP portion. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, we'll have to change the path to be KLTE dash common. Of course, the remote still GitHub. But then we come to this revision. And this is something really good to think about. Look at this um, branch that we have here. All it has is KitKat and Marshmallow. There is no nugget here. And so since there's no nugget, all of this material is going to be old. But if we take this from lineage, we're going to see that first off, it was updated an hour ago. And it goes all the way up to 15.1, which is going to be Oreo. So we are better off stealing from lineage and making some edits to make it right for AOKP than to work with AOKP's old material that we have to make right from marshmallow to nugget. So let's go ahead and copy and paste in that lineage OS and get that, uh, get that changed. Now, if we save this file, we synchronize this repository right now, Again, it's going to go out, it's going to fetch that, and that's great. But we're just going to be wasting some time because the um, Verizon variant had a um, dependency file, and we should check to see that its dependency in the 14.1 branch doesn't also have another dependency file. So here we go, we see lineage dependencies, and sure enough, there's four other repositories that we need, four other projects we need to add to our list to make sure that, uh, that we are set up to build this. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these, I'm going to go to Lineage OS, and I'm going to go to AOKP, and I'm going to look to see which one has the newest material, and that's the one that I'm going to add to my uh, repository or excuse me to my local manifest file. So we search this uh, 8974 commons. We take a look at it. It hasn't been updated since 2014 and the newest version is KitKat. That's way too old. So we should steal this from Lineage OS instead. So we bring it up in Lineage OS. Here we go. If my mouse cooperates here. There we go. And it was updated 16 hours ago, and it goes all the way up through Oreo. So plenty of new material here. So we're going to copy it from Lineage and put that in. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go through and copy and paste for each one of these and move them over to our repo manifest. So I'm actually going to cut through this video so you don't have to watch this whole process going through and then we'll pick back up uh, once we've copied all of these dependencies into our local manifest so we have everything we need. Okay, so just about done here. Get this flip flap put in, which was the four that we needed for our um, KLTE common. No, wait, there's only three. One more than I need. Oh, yeah. So we'll edit this for flip flap. And we will grab our common. OK. So these would be the four that we had. Now, with each one of these, we need to check them to see if they have their own dependencies. Because chances are that they do. 
And if they do, then we need to add those to our project list. Again, this process can actually be fairly tedious. And so you'd have to go through and look, and sure enough, this has two dependencies of its own that you need to add to the list. got lost somewhere in there. All right, let's go back and see if we can get there. Okay, so once again, uh, more dependencies, you gotta make sure that you get all the files that you need. And I apologize for the length of this video, but I just really wanna show you step-by-step step how we go through, how we make sure to transfer from one ROM to another ROM with a device uh, so we can build for that as well. And hopefully you're finding this useful and helpful too. So we're going to grab these dependencies. We're going to put them into our um, list. Now we see device QCOM. We have the SD policy, but we don't have QCOM common. And we don't have the QCOM dash common. So I was just checking to see if they already um, existed in our um, repository as it was, or if we needed to add them ourselves. So they do not exist. So we definitely need to add them for ourselves. So again, uh, more copy and paste and searching and making sure we get the latest version um, and adding those to our uh, list. Here we go. QCOM common. And up to date up through Oreo. So we're gonna grab 14.1. We're going to have to make a few more lines here. And here we go. A couple more lines there. Now we can throw in this QCOM common. and the QCOM dash common. So it's interesting that they have almost the exact same name, even though they don't do the exact same thing. So do be aware of the underscore being different than the hyphen. Of course, everything that's been an underscore so far, we use a forward slash in our path, and the hyphen just is uh, like an extension of the same name of the same folder. So, just a little something that can trip you up when you're typing in these, um, these names, if you're using copy and paste or if you're uh, hand typing them. So quite a bit of work going on here. Um, I just really want to show you that, that it is uh, very important to make sure you get all your dependencies, get them put into your, into your um, local manifest. So here we are, we're gonna grab that. Gonna put that into our project name. Change our device path. Com common, GitHub, PM 14.1. Take out our extra space line there, because we don't need it. Save our file. And let's take a look uh, for more dependencies. So this qcom-common, it has uh, two other dependencies that we're going to need. Uh, this really can be a bit of a hamster wheel, the whole dependencies uh, problem. You should always check to see, you know, is that already available on my um, ROM that I have and in the source code that I already have. So it's asking us to look in the hardware for the uh, Samsung uh, device there. And then also asking us to look under packages, resources for device settings and see if we need to add those. So packages, and there is not even a resource folder. So uh, obviously we're going to need that. So again, more uh, copy and paste, find those uh, latest and greatest, probably gonna be on Linux OS since that's been our trend so far. 
and make sure we put that into our build. Now, one might wonder, hey, we're stealing all the stuff from Lineage. I mean, are we essentially building Lineage and we're just going to slap an AOKP brand sticker on it? Well, I guess if you transferred enough stuff, you would be that way. But, but really, that's not the case here. We're, we're actually just stealing a lot of the underlying hardware controlling, kernel controlling, device controlling uh, files and um, repositories and source code that we need to build this. So again, we copy and paste, and we're looking for this repository. And eventually, in theory, you'll get down to the point where there's actually no more uh, dependencies that you need to go find. So we'll just copy and paste that there for a second. Make two more lines to add these two more packages, or Two more projects, I should say. And we'll just make a couple lines in case we need them. So here's one that we need. We're going to put that in there. Change our device package to be packages resource. Resources device settings. Make sure that it matches. Don't worry, I assure you there is light at the end of this tunnel. Uh, namely because I've done this before. It's pretty handy when you've actually already done something then you then you know how it's going to turn out in the end. All right, so we look at that. We look at the branch 14.1 is what we want. Does not have any dependencies, which is great. Uh, a hardware Samsung. I'm going to put that in here. And with hardware Samsung, we're going to change it to hardware Samsung. Hopefully, you're still with me because I think. I think we're almost done here. Yep, sure enough, branch 14.1 and no uh, dependency file. So we've, we've reached the end of this chain. All right, so now we have all the dependencies we think we're going to need. So, um, we should be ready to repo sync now. Is there anything else that we're going to need in here? I don't think so. Um, these hardware files are just the just the things needed, obviously, for running the radio, the GPS, the screen, that sort of thing. So we are ready to uh, repo sync. So let's uh, grab our terminal. Oh, well, we'll delete these extra lines here. Uh, save our file, grab our terminal, and run RepoSync. 